Talk Show. We have our second time Big Ed because he has a big announcement. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. I love you. No, like this is my kind of lifestyle and this I've been married twice. So you just got engaged. Congratulations in order. What happened? Well, I'm in a I'm in a sandwich shop in Florida at Capriati's. I'm doing an um they they hired me to do an appearance. I'm raising money for my foundation, remembering Nicholas. We raise money for um infant loss, any family that's experienced infant loss and under the age of two. Um, I live in Arkansas, we're, we're ranked third in the nation as far as infant mortality. So I'm down there, they're, they're, and instead of paying me an appearance fee, they donate to my foundation. So I'm at Cap, Capriati's working with the owner, Marco, and his wonderful, amazing publicist girlfriend, Lu, um, Louisa, who's now my publicist. Anyway, so I'm, um, we're, we're basically bringing out, the, they took their Bobby sandwich and they named it the Big Ed. And, they, and, and we brought it out on a on a gold platter with sparklers and served by big ed only me so it's kind of cool then they got a, That's they got really a pic- special. yeah they got a picture and a, and a signed or a signed headshot photo and of course they get a picture with big ed so in comes this italian dish her name is portia um, <laughs> wait that's not a real dish you're talking about your fiance she's an italian exactly. dish yeah she is definitely <laughs> an italian dish she comes Hi. in like you know olive skin brown eyes black hair i'm like Gives me the warmest hug. Literally, her body was just like warm. And I go, oh, my God, that's like the warmest hug I've ever gotten. She goes, oh, no, it's really hot. I'm like, trust me, it's awesome. <laughs> and uh, and plants a big kisser on my cheek. And I'm like, okay, I, I like this okay. girl a lot. So she ends up, you know, posting those on her Instagram. Um, and so she sits down. She's with her girlfriend. And they're having a sandwich. And I'm like, you know, you know, hey, what's your, what's your, let me DM you, what's your Instagram? So that's kind of how I, you know, got you to talk to You slid in the DMs? I slid in the DMs, I yeah. I love it, um, I love it. I'm wanted in 50 states. Anyway, so <laughs> I, uh, so I, um, we start texting each other and, and I'm like, hey, we're all going down to Las Olas. I don't know if you've been to Florida, Mm-mm. Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale, but it's the strip. It's the party strip. Um, really cool restaurant. So um, I invited her to come out. Um, the, the next evening, so 24 hours later, um, she meets me um, in my hotel lobby, okay? And I'm actually, I don't know if you're aware of this, Steph, but I'm launching my Big Ed Molbeck from Argentina. That is I, so exciting. Um, it's more exciting than you know. I just got back from Argentina about Congrats. a week ago. About a week I want to try some. Yet. Oh, I'll send you. I will send you a Big Ed bottle. Okay, um, I'll anyways, buy a bottle. I want to buy a bottle. They're done. I'll give it to you. Anyway, so short story long, um, you know, I meet her in the lobby and I have my bottle of wine and uh, and we just start sipping and talking. She tells me all about her life and she's really awesome. She takes care of her grandmother that's going blind and Aww, she's just, we're just, we're just connecting on e- every level. She has a beautiful Christian cross and um, she's built like a four alarm fire. I'm like, just, then you know, I'm, I'm just giddy as can be. And she's hot. Goes, she's really she's hot. hot. And she's into me, which is like, you know, not rare. That's so, how I feel. Um, when young guys are into me, I'm like, why? What's wrong with you? I, I know. What is, you know, can you, can you see okay? <laughs> right. But, get your eyes checked. Are you so, sure? Okay, she didn't go going... straight to your room, though. She, You guys no, did ma'am. the hotel yeah. lobby first. Okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Big Ed doesn't roll like that. So okay. I'm a Christian. No. You got some class. You got I some got class. Some, trying to be a gentleman. Anyway, yeah. so at the same time, Marco's texting me like, Ed, I'm sorry we're running behind. I'm like, dude. You know, slow your roll, take your time. I'm getting to know, you know, Portia. So we had about 45 minutes to an hour just to kind of get to know each other. They pick us up in a in convertible. So we're in the back seat and, and uh, you know, I'm holding her hand and we're just kind of, you know, it's it's just wonderful. It just feels so right. And we, we keep talking and, and then we get to the restaurant and um, we order a couple drinks and some food and, um, it, we're just everything is just like perfect. I'm so into her, you know. She, you know, just we're just like kind of snuggling. It's just really, really, really awesome. That's fast to have that oh. much physical content, and it feels normal. Oh. It really did. It was just something out of the out of the ordinary. And mm-hmm. so, so Mark, when I get up to use the bathroom, and um, I'm in the bathroom, I'm like, look, man, I'm I, I like this girl a lot. I think she's the one. And he's like, and then he tells me the story about him and. Um, his girlfriend, Louisa, um, he met her in New York and um, he, she was in a bar have, w- having drinks with her friend and he extended his his stay 
four different times just to hang out with her. And now they're Aww. like, now they're together. In fact, they, um, they asked me to marry them. I'm like in an Elvis costume. I'm like, yes. Um, Big so, Ed yeah. is Elvis hosting yeah. the wedding. Okay. I need that for my third wedding. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then, um, okay. Um, uh, write it down. Anyway. Okay. So, so short story long, we're in the bathroom. I'm like, Hey, you know, and he's like, well, dude, what are you waiting for? You know, do it, extend your trip. You know, I go, okay. I go, I don't have a ring. He's like, don't worry about it. So we find the manager and we're like, look, we need a paperclip. And the manager is more excited about it than we are. So she, <laughs> she constructs this, this you wedding ring. I swear to God. You so proposed can, with a paperclip? Yes. Oh my God. So I'm getting there. So she <laughs> makes this ring out of this paperclip really cool. And yeah. then she goes, okay, what's the plan? I'm like, well, I'm going to go sit down and just come out when you're ready. She ends up bringing out her entire staff. And you know when they do bottle service and they come out yeah. with all the, the fireworks or whatever. So here comes her whole entire staff. Everybody starts clapping. I get then on one knee and I'm like, look, you know, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I don't want you to get away. And um, she's tearing up. I'm tearing up. Uh, the restaurant explodes. Like oh everybody, my goodness. everybody in, love is in the air. This is giving me hope. I just love this. Oh, never give up. The minute no. you, get, hey, Steph, the minute yeah. you give up that there's somebody out there for you, your life is over. So for never sure. give up. This is what keeps it exciting. So was yeah. she thrown off or was she just like, I'm in, let's do uh, it. She was in, in the moment. She was in tears, obviously emotional. We're hugging, we're kissing, we're taking pictures. And then I, you know, I, I'm like, you know, I'm like, Hey, look, by the way, we're going to take it slow. We had already been preemptively, I'd already been talking about having her come to Arkansas, meet my family, and um, me coming back and staying with her. And that way I could, because I want to work with this this Capriati's group. They're really awesome. Um, they're trying to get me um, as their national campaign spokesman. So I, I'm excited about, about that. that. So a lot of stuff is just happening in such, in such a good way. Um, so short story long again, um, we, we continue to hang out. We, we, we hit a couple of nightclubs. Everything's really packed. We end up back at um, the club side of the restaurant. We get um, bottle service and we're sitting there and we're hugging and kissing and, you know, and I mean, like full on, you know, just really romantic and whatever. I'm being respectful, but just like we're you're crazy. having a good touchy feely hot time. Yes, ma'am, we are. So, yes. um, well, do, yeah. do you need to test drive the car before you buy it? Hey, how you doing? Absolutely. <laughs> well, you gotta you gotta kick the tires. Anyway, so um, so the we wrap up the evening. Um, um, uh, they drop us off at the hotel. We we kind of talk a little bit about her car. She gives me a hug, and she she has to work early in the next morning. And she goes, "Well, text me because I wanted to hang out." So, um, she was going to come to dinner the following night. Um, but, uh, she ended up going to work and not feeling well. So I went to, um, I was invited over to Marco's house. Well, he has a, he's on the 13th floor of one of the Trump towers. Oh, beautiful, nice. Yeah. Beautiful view of the Bay it was so awesome. And I made him big Ed's taco pasta that broke Liz and I up. LOL. I love, oh, but so, Hey, this is all happening for a reason. The yeah. universe is aligning and coming together. I really think so. So we have a wonderful evening and all night long. <clears throat> pardon me i can't stop thinking about her and like how's she doing did you text her and they're totally like in they're into this relationship they're like yeah hey. they, they're they your cheerleaders they want this they to are. go right and they, they go we really like her she's she's a great person they have a really good feeling you guys would be perfect together and so i'm texting her she's like oh i'm not feeling well i could don't worry um you know i'm 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 thinking about extending my trip and staying another night if i can take you out you know tomorrow night and she goes, absolutely, I'll text you in the morning. So that morning she texts me and is like, hey, hope you slept well. I can't, I miss you. I can't wait to see you. I'm going to run home after work, take a quick shower. We'll meet for drinks and and go out to dinner. Well, then my broker texted me. is like, hey, um, there's a couple hiccups with your closing. I had in one transaction, I had three different properties closing. Oh, so it's a, yeah, it's a hey. bit, it's like. It's a big, everything turned out great. So I got my, yeah, yeah, my, it's my, a lot of loose ends you need to tie up. Yeah, I got my commission check. Nomine Padre de Iota Spirito Santo. So I'm, I'm good. <laughs> so, so again, um, so I'm like, now crap, now I got to leave. And I made plans with her. I'm like, look, I'm so very sorry. You know, with sad eyes, I have to head back to San, um, to Arkansas. Um, you know, um, I'll keep in touch. She's like, no problem you know, um, text me when you land and stuff. So 
that's kind of where we're at. Um, I have my, um, That's I'll, so let, I'll, I'll, I'll let the cat out of the bag. I have them here with, with Sash. We're at, we're at the, um, the whale's tail in Northport. And this Ooh. is his, his podcast. It's called behind the blowhole. There he is. Look at that. Hi, that's cool. Look at behind the blowhole. I like the name of that. <laughs> yeah. I, you guys, you guys have to collab. I was on yeah. their pod, I was on their podcast. I came in here about a couple of months ago. He helped me raise two grand for my foundation. And literally, yeah, it was it was the best weekend of my life. I was on his podcast. Um, it's you got to watch it. I, I talk about Rose in the Philippines. It's hilarious. And okay, I need to check. I will follow this after this and check it out. So wait, you're still talking though to your fiance. Everything's good. Yes. Since you flown yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. So and then we're, we're, she's got to fly out to Arkansas now and hang yeah. out with you. Yeah. So that's kind of you know. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, I don't want to divulge too much. Um, yeah. I do have my um, bachelor party, Sasha stole me a bachelor party on Sunday. So you wait, you um, already have a bachelor party, but do you have a wedding day? No way. You got to do the bachelor party first. See how much trouble you get into. I'm kidding. No, my life um, is a bachelorette party. Like every night I think yeah. my, I party with rock stars and drink cigars and just rage. I'm just, I'm training for my wedding. Right. I guess that's what you're doing. No, you're living your best life. Look, I, I, I follow your your posts. You look like you're having a lot of fun. Thank you. You too. Uh, so, and I, so, I love wine. You know, I work oh, in the wine industry actually too. Oh, yeah. Listen, I'm gonna send you a case of Big Ed's Malbec. I literally went to the because, like, I didn't want to be this guy that's like, oh, you know, I'm gonna put my name on a bottle of wine. I, I mean, I people literally they reach out to me, you know, every other week. Hey, I'm coming out with a new vodka, you know, a peanut butter vodka or whatever, and I want your name on it. I'm like, uh. I don't really drink, you know, vodka. Well, sometimes I do actually, but um, I'm a I'm a Malbec. Not a, I'm not a wino. I'm a Malbec wino. I only drink Malbec. Okay. It has to be from Argentina, and I have a group out in California. They're my partners, and they they did a blind test. Um, and the one I selected was the the vineyard that we went to. It's in Rioja, Argentina. And um, sad story though, I I went there to Argentina, and my luggage went to Sao Paulo. I had there. that happen. That is so inconvenient oh. when it's all your outfits you plan for and everything. And I'm just yeah. like, shit. I'm telling you, man. And I like literally the first night I had to sleep in the buff. I had to wash everything by hand. <laughs> but, but, the, and I had all these meetings planned and we're filming. You know, I wanted to really be able to bring the winery and tell the story. We have a big meeting with Walmart and Sam's Club. So we're getting You should our, have just been naked with a bed sheet with a glass of wine. That's your selling know, point. Like, I know. I, I'm trying to increase my demographic. That will come later. Yeah. Yeah. We'll you a, need the more conservative, older crowd that maybe yeah. would get a slightly offended by that. Yeah. We'll do a big head reserve after dark and I'll, I'll be naked or something. We'll work yeah. that out. That'd be but like, anyway, you got, yeah, I live we, by Napa. And so I work in the wine industry oh. and sell wine and, and I love wine. So I'm a big um, Cab Sav and Merlot's, but I like everything. I'm just a red girl. Yeah. So yeah. Well, maybe you'll, you'll hopefully you'll invite me back on when I, when um, I have 84 cases being delivered in about four weeks. Oh my so, gosh. That's yeah. Awesome. So, so as soon as it comes in and it's, I mean, the wine, you don't get hung over. There's very little sulfates in it. It's, it's just such a smooth, you know, full body wine and low um, I tannin. learned yeah. low, low, low tannin, but I got to really learn about, um, like, I didn't know, all I know is I like Malbec, right? But I go to this winery, I'm meeting with Andrew, the owner, he he flew in from Buenos Aires just to meet with us. And wow. there, there's a big hole in the ground with stairs. I'm like, you know, what is that like a dungeon? He's like, no, they, it basically, it's a cutaway of the soil. And I learned this with wine, you probably know this already, that that um, vines, they have to be stressed, which means they yeah. have to grow up in kind of a rough environment or they mature too fast and the grape, um, it, it messes up the, 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 the grape, it grows too fast. So that's why I'm learned, like wine. If I yeah. you could go through high yeah. stress and trauma, you end up yeah. tasting better later. There, there you go. And I, um, so I learned a lot. I want to be able to tell that story to America. Um, so uh, and Come I back told, on here anytime. Yeah. Oh, I will. And I even, you know, invited, you know, Portia to be a part of my company. So hopefully, you know, we can work all that out. But um, yeah, so life is good. Um, I was, I was, I flew into New York yesterday. Sash picks me up at the airport and um, page six wants to do an interview. And then my publicist, Louisa is freaking, I don't, she, she used to live in New York. She's amazing. And so you got a new one. Yeah, I got a new one. So That's she basically, cool. we're on the way to page six. And she's like, um, text me your address. And I texted the address 
and she had the paparazzi outside. So it was like, I love it. So I'm doing interviews in the streets and people are coming up to me, you know, wanting photographs. And it's like, you know, it's, it's like so kind fun. of, pinch, it, it's like so crazy to me, it, Stephanie, I can't explain, you know, where I'm at in my life. It's almost surreal. I'm in surreal. I'm in Brazil and people are coming up to me wanting photographs. So they knew who I am. Um, the owner, the owner of the vineyard, his daughter is from Australia. They're, they're a big fan. And and then I, when I was in Argentina, people were coming up to me. So, um, you know, I have, I have 16 minutes of fame and I need to do something really awesome. And you got that, that extra minute. No, you're not stopping. You're not just someone on a reality yeah. TV that then slowly fades away. I swear, I posted you're going to come by. My phone blew up more than rock stars. More than I just oh. had POD's drummer, and everyone was like, cool. I posted like Big Ed made him come by. My phone just blew up. Everyone's like, oh, no way. You got I get so much love from you, Steph, in the West Coast. Oh, um, yeah. Um, Callie's a fun. A Astra from page six. She, she had a. She was on 106, I think, LA this morning with Hollywood Hamilton. And um, she she basically said, yeah, he proposed within 24 hours with a paper clip, you know, come and um, check out our, their 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 um, their video of us meeting together yesterday. And and they're like, oh my God, you know, we love Big Ed. He's the best. So it's, you know, I I really enjoy um, the opportunity to to um, in some way kind of inspire people. Um, to yeah. you know, you know, better their lives, and I'm such a a shithead, you know, on TV. I'm really trying to, you know, work on my image and work on my foundation. Um, no, I I'm, think you're honest and raw, and you don't have a yeah. filter, and that's I yeah. vibe with that. And then you're yeah. not giving up on love. I think it's no. more of like a not giving up on love story that you're going to continue to try to have the best relationship that you deserve. Yeah, you. I was just talking to Sash. We're talking. It's like, look, look. You only live once, man. Like this is yes. your only life. And the best quote I heard the other day was, look, yesterday's gone and tomorrow's not here yet. So oh, I like it. Look forward, but forget about the past. So True. Yeah, I'm, I'm living my best life. So I want to plug. Um, we have the the Cal Harbor Festival. It's in Northport, Long Island. And I don't have you ever been to Long Island, man, but these guys are I have. great. Uh, it's cool. a different They're, breed. Oh, but you know what? They're they're harsh. They talk at a decibel that's like six degrees above mine. It's like, fuck this, fuck that. Yeah, I love this, it. That's, that's disgusting and 100%. And those are the women. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> those are the women. And then, <laughs> the women and have bigger balls than the men in California. Oh, my God. And you should see the balls on Sash. He's driving yeah. me to the city. He hates the fucking city. All the way there is like, I hate people. I hate everybody. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. It's like. <laughs> East oh, coasters was, are tough and rough, especially oh, Long Island, though. Yeah, they are. They're rough and tough. And I'm telling you right now, man, they have a heart and a culture. And literally, I got back. I was here two months ago, raised money for my foundation. Let me. They let me get behind the bar. the 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 bar was packed. This the the um the whale's tail. They serve on a Tuesday. Are you ready? They yeah. serve over five thousand tacos on a Tuesday on wow. one day of the week. Yeah, That's so busy. Does no one work there? Where? Do, how do I move there? Oh, oh! Everybody works here, and you got to meet his staff. But it's yeah. just like I come up here to do a podcast for him, and I'm here like five minutes, and the manager Anne Marie's here, and everybody's yelling at everybody, and people are coming in like, um, um, um you know, I'm here for my tips, and where's my paycheck? And um, I'm downstairs washing dishes, like you're not even on the schedule, like. Oh, I know, but I need to make money, so I'm washing dishes. I mean, it's it's then, just crazy it's, chaos of fun. It, it really it's is, crazy. and it, it, I, we call it managed chaos. But the yeah. staff and Sash, they are um, amazing. They're very generous. I literally got back to Arkansas. I'm sitting in my living room watching TV, um, and I texted Sash, "I'm coming back out." So literally, I booked my ticket that that day two months ago to come out and hang out. So I'm staying at his house. He made me breakfast this morning and oh uh, what a nice made, guy. We had some protein. He's he's in the protein. We're gonna go work out at the gym, but I told him I have to talk to you before I do anything. Well, thank so, you. Um, well, I'm yeah. so glad that you could talk to me, you know. And like if you come to Northern California, if you go around oh. Napa, we gotta go wine tasting. Oh, I will take should... you out wine tasting. I love that. I I got a new um Osmos three pocket camera and oh, I that cool. I used to film in Argentina. We'll we'll hit some wineries and We'll do some like live, live 
podcast just walking around talking yeah about live podcasting we can have do you like cigars i love cigars um not a big cigar unless i'm okay like, you know uh, you know unless you're I'm, faded yeah unless i'm <laughs> faded yeah uh, yeah toward the end of the night i'll i'll as long as i'm not inhaling you know yeah um i like the smell and the yeah and th- there's a way that you you dip them in a nice cognac Mm-hmm. That um, is, mm. is that's how how you do it. So all my family back in Arkansas, we we have a lot of um, like bonfires, and we'll do we'll do schmores and cigars, and we need to go out, and I fun. need to find a paperclip and propose to some hot guy, so you can oh, help I love me. <laughs> hey, listen, I my I, my friends are like you should have you should have a big head paperclip paperclip ring on your website so yes i'm, I'm looking at that and yeah and, and astro's like give me a bunch of crap you're like oh my god a paperclip are you kidding me why didn't you give her a ring i'm like look it's the thought it, that counts it, it's exactly this was like spontaneous and and i'm like you know she's like oh you gotta get her a big diamond i'm like hold on i'm a, no, I'm a tip- i'd say yes I'm, to the paperclip proposal yeah, i meant there you go but i'm, I'm one a of tip- those weirdos yeah, I'm a Tiffany's guy where it's, you know, size oh, okay. doesn't size doesn't matter, right? I try to tell women it's that it's quality. Um, yeah, it's the boat in the water, right? No, it's the yeah. motion in the ocean. <laughs> no, but it's like 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 it's the quality of the diamond and it's also the quality of the person. And yeah. um my mom my mom has a saying just to make you feel good. It's like, you know, um introduce me to your friends so I know who you are. So I'm that way in my life right now where I'm just really surrounding myself with with awesome people. I That's have important. a. I call them my lake rats. Back in uh, Arkansas, <laughs> we we all have uh, pontoon boats. So I every... love lake days. We're a bit oh, in Northern California. Yeah. There's a lot of lakes, and we're we're yeah. all on the yeah. lakes. It's I mean, so look fun. At, look at my tan. Like I'm just like I'm darker than I've ever been. That's but, good um, though. You're out having fun. I know, but a big shout out to my lake rats. There's Brittany. She's crazy. There's Courtney. She's in England right now. In fact, she the, um she's she like. Literally left me in a voicemail. What the f is going on? Uh, because when I the thing went viral, you weren't engaged like, last time you guys hung no, out. No, no, but listen, I wake up and it's on every single publication. Yeah, it, it was on the cover of the 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 um, New York Post in their entertainment section. Everybody's calling me, going, "What the hell is going on?" And um, my friend Courtney calls me from from the UK, and it's like, "You have some explaining to do." Because they already told me after Liz, they're like. We will we will interview your next girlfriend and we'll let you know if you're going to be allowed to, you know, date this person. It's kind of funny, but um, and then my friend, yeah, they are. And my friend um, Rochelle, who actually lost her son Nicholas three and a half years ago, who started the the foundation remembering Nicholas. So literally every week, it's a it's a dinner at somebody's house. Um, We've already planned Friendsgiving. We've already planned a Christmas um, Friends um, Christmas. We're doing a an Airbnb in in January. They're all beautiful, wonderful women. They're all married, except for Courtney, who keeps falling down. But um, um she's they're your, like support system, though. They're your they, support they, team. They, you guys all they, hang out. they care about me. They give me shit. You know, they're like, what they are you tell doing? it like it is. They tell me like it is. So they were yeah. like, like white on rice. They're like, what is going on? You're in what? You know, why don't you tell us? And and like I didn't even know. Literally, everything happened so fast. So. There's more to come. Stay tuned for more Big Ed chaos, I guess. You'll be the first to know, Steph, I promise. I love, well, thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you have a blast party for me, okay? I'm going to start having coffee here. I'm, I woke up early just to talk to you because you're so special because I love you. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I'm on it's the all East good. Coast. You're on the West Coast. Hey, let's do it early. I'm like, oh, shit, it's 6 a.m. <laughs> she's going to she's gonna kill me. Anyways, all right, all my love, all my love, baby doll. We'll see you soon. All my love to you. Okay, bye. All right, God bless.